An unusually clear lake sparkled in the middle of the Goo Sacred City. The sunlight scattered into many glaring rays. Chi. An intense ripple suddenly stirred on the calm lake's surface as an enormous spatial crack slowly tore through the air. Many human figures swiftly rushed out of it after it appeared. Finally, they landed on the ground, and in an instant, the somewhat quiet city had become lively again. Xiaoyan hurried out of the spatial door and finally appeared on a building. His eyes swept around. Without waiting for the members of the Gu clan to come and receive him, he moved and flew toward the city gate of Gu Sacred City. The experts from the Gu clan acted as though they did not see him. None of them stopped him, allowing him to hurry to the city's gate before finally disappearing from their sight. Xiaoyan smoothly rushed out of Gu Sacred City. Only then did he stop in the air and look at the greenery that spread to the horizon. His heart involuntarily exhaled a long breath. Although the Gu realm was extremely spacious and possessed a denser energy as compared to the outside world, Xiaoyan ultimately felt that the central plains gave one an even greater freedom for some unknown reason. Next, I should hurry back to the Falling Star Pavilion. Xiaoyan did not remain in this spot for long. He took out a map to identify where he needed to go. After which, his body turned into a brilliant light that hurried to the northern horizon with lightning-like speed. HR disappeared into the horizon in the blink of an eye. Xiaoyan did not stop for a prolonged period of time during this subsequent journey. At his full speed and with the help of a couple of spatial wormholes, he spent five days or so before reaching the territory controlled by the Falling Star Pavilion. Xiaoyan clearly sensed that there were many more experts' auras around him after entering the Falling Star Pavilion's territory. Some of the important cities along the way had gained two to three elite dozones. zones. This was a strength even within the Central Plains region. However, Xiaoyan clearly understood that with Yu Lao, this great golden signboard, it was not difficult to gather these experts to aid them. Xiaoyan felt somewhat at ease after not coming across any chaotic scenes along the way. Although the defenses had been strengthened, the pressure that a big battle created was absent. Xiaoyan did not take any short stops in the cities that belonged to the Falling Star Pavilion. He hurried to the Falling Star Pavilion. Hence, in a short half-day, he had reached the mountain range of the Falling Star Pavilion. Subsequently, he turned into a ray of light that charged into the realm where the Falling Star Pavilion was located. The atmosphere within the Star Realm was peaceful. Although the size of this place could not be compared with a place like the Gu Realm, it could still be considered similar to a city. It could accommodate over a hundred thousand people without any problems. Densely packed Falling Star Pavilion disciples were training in an orderly fashion in a somewhat spacious square. Numerous powerful cries gathered together, appearing like thunder that resounded all around. The current Star Realm undoubtedly possessed a new look when compared to the past. The originally arduous mountain range had been opened up and clusters of buildings had been built on them. Many human flows walked along them like ants, causing it to appear extremely lively. Moreover, many more powerful auras were vaguely being emitted from the enormous mountains in the middle of the Star Realm, covering every part of the Star Realm. The current Star Realm truly possessed an iron wall-like feeling. Chi. A ray of light suddenly flashed and appeared within the peaceful Star Realm. It was accompanied by an extremely wild momentum as it flew over from afar. It charged toward the mountain at the middle of the Star Realm. Who dares to cause trouble within the Star Realm? Some furious cries suddenly resounded in the sky of the Star Realm when the ray of light appeared. One could hear numerous swoosh sounds as many elderly figures appeared in the sky. After which, they furiously cried out in unison, still. The space in the sky rapidly solidified after the ten furious elderly cries sounded. While everyone thought that the figure was about to stop, they were stunned to see that the ray of light not halt, and its speed suddenly increased. It broke through the solidified space without any resistance in front of the many startled eyes. Finally, it appeared behind those elders in a ghost-like manner. Ha ha, it has only been half a year since I left, but the defenses have become this tight, that figure stopped in front of the many gazes. Immediately, a black-robed young man with black hair slowly appeared and laughed. Who are you? These elders, who had attempted to stop the figure earlier, observed Xiao Yin with grave eyes. After the scene earlier, they no longer dared to underestimate this exceptionally young black-robed man. Moreover, they could sense a vague pressure radiating from his body. This kind of pressure was something that only a handful of people in the Falling Star Pavilion could make them feel. 
The activity in the sky attracted the attention of the Falling Star Pavilion disciples training on the ground. Many stunned gazes looked at Xiao Yin in the sky. Their mouths were amazed. It was the first time that they had witnessed the ten guest elders not gain an advantage despite having attacked at the same time. Xiao Yin smiled in a bitter and helpless manner when he saw the uncertain eyes of those elders. He had only been away for half a year, yet almost no one recognized him. Junior Pavilion Chief a couple of elderly figures finally rushed over from the main mountain while Xiao Yin was feeling helpless. They were initially startled before crying out in pleasant surprise. The ten falling pavilion guest elders and countless falling star pavilion disciples were stunned when they heard this joyous cry. Their eyes glanced at Xiao Yin with some disbelief. Xiao Yin's reputation was quite great within the falling star pavilion, but it had only been a short while since many people had come to the falling star pavilion. Hence. This was the first time many people had seen him. He is actually that junior pavilion chief of our Falling Star Pavilion. Hee <laughs> hee, junior pavilion chief is really handsome. Stop being boy crazy. How can someone like the junior pavilion chief fancy us? I heard that the junior pavilion chief is also the pill gathering champion. He's also an elite dozone. I joined the Falling Star Pavilion because of him. It is unexpected that I have finally seen this legendary person today. Hee <laughs> hee. While many heated conversations sprung up below, a yellow-robed elder, who seemed to be the leader of the group of guest elders, hurriedly came forward and greeted Xiao Yin. Although he was older than Xiao Yin, the stronger person was the master. Currently, Xiao Yin's achievements in every aspect were far from what the guest elders could compare with. Hence, their tones were naturally extremely polite. They did not dare to be the least bit disrespectful. Elder is too courteous. Xiao Yin faintly smiled. After which, his eyes swept around him before an admiration appeared in them. The Falling Star Pavilion had undergone a drastic change during this short half a year. With such a large number of experts guarding it, it was likely that even the Hun clan would not dare to easily attack. From the auras that he could sense on the surface, the strength of the current Falling Star Pavilion was not weaker than the Profound Sky Sect or the Flower Sect. Moreover, the Falling Star Pavilion may have even surpassed them. Ha ha. You have finally returned. The space behind Xiao Yin fluctuated while his eyes swept across the star realm. An elderly figure slowly appeared. That figure was surprisingly Yao Lao. Teacher. Xiao Yin hurriedly bowed and respectfully greeted Yao Lao. Greetings, Pavilion Chief. The guest elders by the side also respectfully greeted Yao Lao when he appeared. Yao Lao seldomly revealed himself. So Yao Lao was a mysterious existence in the eyes of these guest elders. It was unexpected that he would personally come and receive this junior pavilion chief the moment he appeared. You have become rather refined after a trip to the Gu realm. Yao Lao smiled and shook his head. He waved his hand at the guest elders. After which, he swept his eyes over Xiao Yin and some satisfaction surfaced in them. He said, not bad, not bad. Within half a year, you have advanced to an 8-star dozun from a 5-star dozun. It looks like you have gained a lot from this trip. Some shock appeared in the eyes of those guest elders when they heard Yao Lao's praise. This person was indeed worthy of being the junior pavilion chief. Such an increase was really too frightening. Xiao Yin smiled. With Yao Lao's strength, he was naturally able to see through Xiao Yin, who subsequently nodded in reply. Let's go. We'll head down first. I have waited a long time for your return. Yao Lao spoke with a smile. I. Xiao Yin nodded. His eyes swept around him before he frowned. He softly asked, Teacher, has the little fairy doctor and the rest not returned? They have returned, but they left again, Yao Lao replied. Left? Where? Xiao Yin asked in a startled voice. This is also the reason I have been waiting for you. We received some news soon after you entered the heavenly tomb. After which, I asked the little fairy doctor and the rest to quickly return. After which, they hurried to the Jiama Empire. Jiama Empire? The familiar name caused Xiao Yin to feel stunned. However, it only lasted for an instant before his face experienced a drastic change. Something happened to the Yen Alliance? A hey, Jiama Empire? Yao Lao slowly nodded when he saw the sudden change in Xiao Yan's expression. He said, rather, it should be said that the entire northwestern region of the continent is in trouble. What happened? Xiao Yan knit his eyebrows. The northwestern continent did not have as many experts as the central plains. There might be an uncountable number of sects and empires, 
but all of them were ultimately in dispute with each other. Although some strong factions intended to dominate everyone, they were ultimately unable to achieve their aim. Moreover, the so-called strong factions in the northwestern region of the continent would only be Tier 1 factions in the Central Plains. They would not be any stronger than the four pavilion factions. Hence, some of the factions and experts within the Central Plains did not place much importance on the any other region. Originally, the northwestern continent was not in turmoil, but a year ago, a faction known as the Profound Lion Sect suddenly began to engage in a large-scale war. No one was a match for the experts from the sect. Within less than half a year, nearly half of the northwestern continent ended up under the control of the Profound Lion Sect. Yao Lao slowly landed on a mountain as he softly explained. Profound Lion Sect? Are they very strong? Xiaoyan frowned and asked. Although the northwestern continent did not have as many hidden experts as the central plains, it was an extremely large stretch of land and there were naturally many Dozun class experts. However, relying on the strength of a sect to occupy half of the northwestern continent was something that would cause others to feel some disbelief. Although the Profound Lion sect can be ranked among the top 10 in the northwestern continent, it is not unbeatable. This time around, their strength suddenly soared. Moreover, they gained many powerful mysterious experts, Yao Lao replied in a faint voice. There is some other mysterious faction interfering in the northwestern region of the continent? Xiaoyan was startled. The factions in the central plains were extremely strong, but they ultimately looked down on the other parts of the continent that were not part of the central plains. Hence, rarely would a factions interfere in the matters of other regions. After all, these areas were extremely chaotic, and even if they could secretly control the regions, it would not benefit them. They might end up losing more than they would gain. Hall of Souls? Xiaoyan frowned. Suddenly he saw Yao Lao's solemn expression. His heart shook as he made a guess. That's right, Yao Lao nodded. He continued, based on the situation that was transmitted back, many Hall of Souls experts have indeed appeared with the Profound Lion sect. Why would the Hall of Souls have nothing better to do than to head to the northwestern region of the continent and stir up such a big war? Gathering souls, the factions in the central plains are interrelated and complicated. Even the Hall of Souls would not dare to easily start a big war, but the situation is different in the northwestern continent. Given the strength of the Hall of Souls, it is dominant enough to wage a one-sided war. All they need to do is appear after the battle and collect a countless number of souls, Yao Lao knit his brows and explained the situation. Why are they anxiously using such a method to gather spiritual bodies now? In the past, the Hall of Souls would only quietly gather souls. They have never started a big war before. Xiaoyan asked uncertainly. The Hall of Souls definitely has many schemes to gather souls. However, I am also uncertain of the reason. Back then, they only wanted me to join them after capturing me. I am aware that they are interested in my alchemist skills. All I can do is refine medicinal pills, but the overwhelming and mysterious strength of the Hall of Souls chief requires a tier 9 medicinal pill. However, it is not easy to refine such a medicinal pill. Yao Lao softly sighed and replied. Xiaoyan's heart had become a little heavy for some unknown reason after hearing Yao Lao's soft sigh. Although he was not aware what the Hall of Souls was planning, he was certain that they were definitely preparing for a great scheme. Otherwise, why would they gather so many souls? Moreover, they had clearly increased their gathering rate. Could it be that they could not endure any longer? Hun Clan, just what exactly are you planning? The Northwestern Continent is in chaos and the Profound Lion sect continues to expand their territory. Those who do not submit to them would have their sect or empire destroyed. This has undoubtedly greatly increased the speed at which the Hall of Souls are gathering spiritual bodies. The quality might not be high, but they can make up for it with quantity. Yao Lao glanced at Xiao Yin as he said, As for your Yin alliance, it has already become a powerful alliance that could be ranked among the top three of the northwestern continent after being developed by Medusa and the rest during these years. Normally speaking, the Profound Lion sect is no match for the Yin alliance. Unfortunately, there is the addition of the Hall of Souls. With the aid of the experts from the Hall of Souls, the Yin alliance can only end up at a disadvantage. A couple of months ago, the territory of the Yin Alliance shrank. They are gradually shrinking back toward the Jiyama Empire. We have also obtained news about it at that time. The little fairy doctor and the rest hurried to the Jiyama Empire after obtaining this news. 
Ching Ten also followed because the fate of the Sky Serpent Mansion is similarly quite bad. Xiao Yan's expression was gloomy. This damn Hall of Souls never stopped causing trouble for even a moment. I have also dispatched some experts from the Falling Star Pavilion to follow the Little Fairy Doctors group when they left. However, I think that they will find it difficult to handle the situation. Xiaoyan nodded. He clenched his hand and said, Looks like. I will also have to hurry back. The Yen Alliance had Medusa, his big brother, second brother, and all the members of the Shao clan. Hence, he needed to reveal himself when the Yen Alliance faced such trouble. Yao Lao was unsurprised when he heard Xiao Yan's words. He nodded slightly and said, I, this time around, I will dispatch some elders from the Falling Star Pavilion, who are five star dozuns, with you when you head to the Jiyama Empire. Moreover, they are privy to more information than you. They will help you understand the situation of the Northwestern Continent. I will personally remain in the Falling Star Pavilion to guard against any Hall of Souls schemes of diverting our strength away. Xiao Yin hesitated for a moment before nodding. We will put the matter of the purifying demonic lotus flame aside for now. In any case, there's still some time before the spatial trade fair begins. Before that, we must resolve the trouble of the Yin Alliance. Yao Lao smiled and continued. Don't rush and leave today. The Central Plains region and the Northwestern continent are too far apart. You would need over two months to fly back. Hence, we must build a wormhole. Xiaoyan was startled when he heard this. A wormhole was something that could be built by anyone who had reached the Dozun class. However, building a lengthy wormhole that stretched from Central Plains to the Northwestern continent was not something that an ordinary Dozun could achieve. Fortunately, Yao Lao's strength was currently at the Banshin class. It should not be too difficult to build. I used a temporarily wormhole to send the little fairy doctors group away. Since then, I have been preparing a stable wormhole. Once it is successfully built, it will become a pathway that connects the Falling Star Pavilion to the Northwestern Continent. Once you take over the Falling Star Pavilion in the future, the Falling Star Pavilion and the Yin Alliance will merge. Yao Lao laughed. Xiaoyan nodded and sighed in relief. If they could really build a wormhole that connected to the Northwestern Continent, it would undoubtedly save him a great deal of time. Rest for today. You have been tired during this period of time? Yao Lao spoke with a smile. Xiaoyan did not reject the offer. He nodded before suddenly recalling something. After which, he took the Emerald Jade token that Yao Xingji had given him out of his storage ring and handed it to Yao Lao. This is the Yao Ceremony, Clan Ceremony, invitation of the Yao Clan. They asked me to hand it to teacher. Yao Lao's hand immediately trembled when he heard the words Yao Ceremony, Clan Ceremony. Dot. Although it was minor, it did not escape Xiao Yan's eyes. Yao Lao's eyes stared at the Emerald Jade token. It was a long time later before he inhaled a deep breath of air. His hand trembled as he slowly received it. Finally, he put it in his storage ring and softly said, Don't be concerned about this matter. We should build the wormhole. I. Xiaoyan nodded. Although Yao Lao did not display much on his face, Xiaoyan could still sense that Yao Lao's heart was not calm. It seems that teacher will not reject this Yu ceremony, clan ceremony invitation just as Yao Xingji had claimed. I wonder just what this use ceremony is to cause Yao Lao to show such a reaction. Yao Lao merely smiled when he saw Xiao Yan's flickering eyes, but he did not explain about the Yao ceremony. He gently patted Xiao Yan's shoulders and laughed. Leave. Go back to your room and rest. It is likely that this half a year has not been relaxing. I would like to allow you to rest properly for some time. Xiao Yan shook his head in an unconcerned manner. He was used to running around after years of training. One must ultimately pay in order to protect things. However, the thing that caused Xiao Yin to feel a little pleased was that the current him was not like himself from back when he needed Yao Lao's help in order to do anything. Now, he was a true top-tier expert who could carry his own weight. Once I finish building the wormhole, you will be able to travel to the northwestern region of the continent. Ha ha. Now that I think about it, it has been many years since you left. It is time to return and take a look, Yao Lao spoke in a somewhat harsh tone. When Xiaoyan had left the Jiaoma Empire for the first time back then, he had been a tender youth. The youth from back then has become a renowned top-notch expert across the continent. Xiaoyan quietly nodded. His heart also felt a sense of loose. Without realizing it, he had been away from the Jiaoma Empire for many years. He wondered just how Big Brother, 
second brother, and the rest had been during these years, especially Medusa. If that's how much time had passed, it was likely his child was already four or five years old. If that's the case, it seems that I have become a father. A special feeling involuntarily rose within Xiaoyan's heart when he thought of this. It was as though his heart had matured once again at this moment. Northwest part of the continent instead? Xiaoyan's subsequent days after returning to the Falling Star Pavilion had become a lot more relaxing. He stayed in the Falling Star Pavilion all day and would occasionally appear to give advice to the disciples of the Falling Star Pavilion. Forget about the ordinary disciples. With his current strength and reputation, it was likely that the experience of even some guest elders in the Falling Star Pavilion might not be able to compare to him. Three days slowly passed amid this feeling of leisure. The wormhole that Yao Lao was building gradually neared completion. Ah, many Falling Star Pavilion disciples were gathered in a spacious training ground in the Star Realm. They were undertaking training and sparring that they had to perform daily. However, most of the eyes in the training ground were gathered on the middle of the training ground. A young man in black robes was pointing out the inadequacies of some disciples when they unleashed their Do skills. His laughing and relaxed appearance vaguely gave him the look of a grandmaster. Many falling star pavilions disciples felt envious in their hearts as they watched him. A group of young ladies, who were wearing tight brilliant clothes, had gathered in one corner of the training ground. They were laughing with each other. Their lovely wind chime like laughter caused the hearts of some surrounding men to shake. Their eyes were involuntarily thrown over. There was a lady in pale red clothes standing in the middle of this group of young ladies. Her delicate and soft waist with her long legs undoubtedly caused her to be the most eye catching existence within the training ground. However, this red clothed young lady's eyes were observing the smiling black clothed young man in the distance. He he, little senior sister Yu Quan is finally attracted to someone? A young lady by the side suddenly laughed in a delicate voice while the lady in red was focusing on Xiao Yan. What nonsense are you spouting? Hearing this, the face of that young lady called Yu Quan reddened as she chided. He he, little senior sister Yu Quan, you are the person with the most outstanding talent among this younger generation of the Falling Star Pavilion. Even the pavilion chief was disturbed during the test back then. Therefore, you need not feel inferior despite the unique status of the junior pavilion chief. A young lady covered her mouth and laughed. What nonsense. This little talent of mine is nothing in the eyes of the junior pavilion chief. Yu Quan shook her head, but a faint joy flashed across her bright eyes. A young lady ultimately yearned for love. The young geniuses she had met, who thought highly of themselves, were nothing compared to Xiao Yin, who did not put on the airs of a junior pavilion chief. Why doesn't little senior sister ask junior pavilion chief for advice? You will only have a chance if you come into contact with him. Otherwise, there will be no hope. A young lady urged. Yu Quan hesitated for a moment upon hearing this. She softly said, It's not very suitable, right? What should we do if we disturb young pavilion chief? It's fine. Little senior sister is someone our falling star pavilion needs to grow. The junior pavilion chief will definitely not find it troublesome for the sake of strengthening the falling star pavilion. This. This. Stop pushing. I will go all right. Xiaoyan studied the small red face of the red-clothed young lady standing on the training ground in front of him. He smiled and asked, You are called Yu Quan, right? I heard teacher mention you. Xiaoyan's eyes observed this young lady in front of him while he spoke. Although this young lady appeared a little young, she was undoubtedly a perfect beauty. Once she grew up, she would definitely become a little witch that would cause a countless number of men to risk themselves for her. Of course, her appearance was not what Xiao Yin valued. Instead, it was her outstanding training talent. A young lady who was not even 17 was still at a budding age, but this Yu Quan had already stepped into the Do Wang class. Even within the Central Plains, obtaining such an achievement at this age was outstanding. If she was given sufficient time, her achievements would be frightening. No wonder teacher has reminded me time and again. If his elderly self had not decided that he would not accept any other disciples, this Yu Quan would have become my little junior. Xia Yan's eyes flickered. He finally understood why Yao Lao had mentioned something about Yu Quan to him a couple of days earlier. Yu Quan immediately nodded when she learned that Xiao Yin was aware of her name. Her thin, delicate face was covered with some excitement. Junior Pavilion Chief, may I take some of your time to give me some advice? Yu Quan's face reddened. 
However, she still summoned her courage and uttered these words. Practice your skills in front of me. Shayan smiled and softly replied. Understood. Yuquan's small heart quietly pounded when she experienced Xiaoyan's gentleness. She hurriedly displayed a palm dough skill that she had recently practiced. Xiaoyan by the side stood with his hands behind him. He watched Yuquan unleash a D-class palm technique in an extremely smooth fashion, causing him to involuntarily nod. He pointed out some minor flaws. The thing that caused Xiaoyan to be stunned was that Yuquan had corrected these flaws soon after he had identified them. Her comprehension speed caused him to involuntarily shake his head and sigh. This woman was really talented and intelligent. If she was properly groomed, she could become a top expert within the Central Plains in the future. Some perspiration surfaced on Yuquan's forehead after completing his palm technique, but her eyes were filled with joy. Her peripheral vision secretly glanced at Xiao Yin as she uncertainly asked, Junior Pavilion Chief, how did Yuquan perform? Ugh, very good. Xiaoyan smiled and nodded. He hesitated for a moment after seeing the brilliance on Yuquan's little face. Finally, he said, Um, there's something. I wonder if you're interested. What is it? Yuquan hurriedly asked when she heard his inquiry. Xiaoyan founded his chin. He studied Yuquan before replying a moment later, Be my disciple. Xiaoyan felt it was rather ridiculous in his heart when he uttered these words. It was unexpected that there would be a moment when he uttered these words but this was not his intention. Yao Lao valued Yuquan's talent, but he did not wish to accept another disciple. Hence, he had given Xiao Yan this task. Being Xiao Yan's teacher, it wouldn't be out of ordinary for him to teach any disciple that Xiao Yan accepted. Huh? Yuquan was immediately startled when she heard Xiao Yan's words. She lowered her head and did not speak. Xiao Yan became embarrassed when he saw Yuquan's reaction. It was unexpected that he was receiving such treatment the first time he uttered these words. Junior Pavilion Chief, can I be just a disciple in name? Yuquan's frowned and mused for a moment before she finally opened her mouth and asked. Cough. Yuquan's words caused Xiao Yan to cough. Life was really too sad. With his current status, many people would be rushing over if he really wished to accept a disciple, yet this young lady in front of him was full of conditions. All right. Up to you. Xiaoyan helplessly shook his head. In any case, the one doing the teaching would not be him. Whether it was only in name or not, it was unrelated to him. A joyous smile immediately surfaced on Yuquan's small face when she heard this. A disciple in name. Once she became strong enough in the future, this would not have a binding effect. Though whatever ethics would not be much of a problem. Xiaoyan was naturally unaware of the thoughts of his newly accepted disciple in name in front of him. If he was aware of them, he would have thought about kicking her out. She was so young, but she was already thinking such thoughts. Buzz. The space in the interior of the Star Realm suddenly fluctuated while Xiao Yin was helplessly shaking his head. A partially present spatial sound was spreading from the back mountain of the Star Realm. Xiao Yin was startled when he sensed this spatial fluctuation, but soon a joy surfaced in his eyes. The wormhole has been successfully built. Yu Quan. I will make a trip to the back mountain. I will leave for a period of time a couple of days later. You should go and find Grand Teacher. He will teach you. Xiao Yin turned his head and smiled as he informed Yu Quan. Yes, Junior Pavilion Chief. Yu Quan's small face immediately became a little bitter when she heard that Xiao Yin would be leaving for a period of time. She could only nod her head. You should not address me like this now. Xiao Yin involuntarily became eager when he saw the bitter expression on Yu Quan's small pretty face. He smiled and reprimanded her. Yes, teacher. Yu Quan's pretty face reddened when she saw the teasing expression on Xiao Yan's face. She could only address him in a whisper. Xiao Yin smiled in satisfaction when he heard her words. He rubbed Yu Quan's small head and smiled as he said, Do your best. I hope that you will have advanced to the Do Huang class the next time I return. Xiao Yin did not remain any longer after his words sounded. His body moved, and he turned into a ray of light. After which, he rushed to the back mountain where the spatial ripple was being emitted in front of many respectful gazes. Yu Quan lowered her little face after seeing Xiao Yin disappear into the distance. She spoke in a somewhat dispirited manner. It's over. I have become Junior Pavilion Chief's disciple. My chances will become a lot lower in the future. No, I cannot give up. My status as a disciple is only in name. I must persevere to the end. 
Yu Quan clenched her little fist when she spoke. After which, she gently grabbed at Xiao Yan's distant back. It appeared as though she wished to pull him into her palm. A teacher can also be groomed. As Xiao Yan hurried to the back mountain in the Star Realm, a hundred-foot-large dark black hole slowly appeared on a stone platform atop a mountain. A wild and violent spatial force was erupting from within and swiftly spreading apart. Teacher, have you succeeded? Cheyenne's body moved, and he appeared a short distance away from the wormhole. He studied the elderly figure and joyously inquired. I, Yao Lao smiled and nodded. He immediately turned around, looked at Xiao Yin, and asked, Have you met that little girl? Xiao Yin naturally understood that Yao Lao was referring to Yu Quan by that little girl. He bitterly smiled and nodded. He said, I have met her. Her talent is indeed extremely outstanding. If she is properly groomed, her achievements are bound to be extraordinary. Have you accepted her as a disciple? Yao Lao softly laughed. His eyes were usually very picky. There were very few people who could catch his eye. This pickiness was enough to show just how great Yu Quan's talent was. Xiao Yan nodded once again. He roughly explained the matter earlier. When Yao Lao heard that Yu Quan was willing to only be a disciple in name, he involuntarily laughed out loud. Immediately, he shook his head and laughed. It's fine if it is just in name. In any case, you need not worry about these matters. I, when will I set off? Xiao Yan nodded and quickly asked. I'm afraid that we must wait a few more days. The wormhole has been successfully built, but it is still not stable. Moreover, I think that we should find some helpers during these next few days. There will definitely be many experts from the Hall of Souls on the Profound Lion Sect side. Hence, we should be fully prepared, Yao Lao explained. Other helpers? Xiao Yin frowned. Those who could get involved must be experts who had reached the Dozun class. However, it was already not bad that the Falling Star Pavilion could take out over a dozen guest elders, but where could they find other people? Haha, <laughs> have you forgotten the gathering ability of an alchemist? I have already got people to spread the news that we are inviting experts from all over. However, the condition is that one must have reached the Dozun class. The reward will be three Tier 8 medicinal pills each. The number of pill lightning colors that the Tier 8 medicinal pills possess will be determined by their respective strengths and their contributions, Yao Lao cunningly smiled and explained. I believe that many people will come. At that time, you will lead them to the northwestern region of the continent and then attack the Profound Lion sect to quickly end the war. Cheyenne nodded and helplessly asked, Isn't this a little too generous? Three Tier 8 medicinal pills each? It would be quite a big sum should 20 to 30 people come. Relax, there should not be a problem as long as it is a medicinal pill below the ninth tier. Yao Lao smiled in an unconcerned manner. With his current ability, his chances of successfully refining a tier 8 medicinal pill were quite high. Hence, it might be a little troublesome, but he was still able to fork over these medicinal pills. Xiao Yin could only nod his head when he heard this. If he were to head to the northwestern region of the continent alone, he would end up quite tired even if he possessed the ability to turn things around. If there was a large group of helpers, things would undoubtedly be much more relaxed. In that case, we'll wait a couple more days. With the wormhole completely built, the Star Realm had suddenly become lively during the next few days. There was only one reason for the liveliness. It was because of the invitation that Yao Lao had issued. Back then, Yao Lao possessed the great ability of gathering people. Now that he had already advanced into the Ban Sheng class, his summoning ability had been strengthened. Hence, the entire Central Plains turned into an uproar once the invitation was issued. Three Tier 8 medicinal pills possessed a powerful allure even for an elite Do Zone. Things were still fine for the experts who belonged to specific sections. They did not dare to randomly accept any invitations due to the potential implications, but the Central Plains was filled with hidden experts. Naturally, it did not lack people who trained alone and possessed an extremely great strength. Due to not being restrained, they appeared to possess a greater freedom. Hence, they did not hesitate after receiving such an invitation. They hurried to the Falling Star Pavilion. Xiao Yin was extremely stunned at what Yao Lao's invitation brought. Only then did he truly feel terrified by Yao Lao's ability to gather people. However, he had somewhat underestimated himself. He was currently not some unknown person in the Central Plains. He was a Tier 8 Alchemist Guru. If this identity was displayed, people would naturally be courteous to him, 
But ever since Xiao Yin had arrived in the Central Plains, the factions that he had made contact with were extraordinary. Hence, he was not able to sense some of the benefits that this guru status brought him. The Falling Star Pavilion was lively for a full three days because of the invitation. Yao Lao personally picked the people during these three days. He had chosen 20 experts from among those who had come because of the invitation. The strength of these 20 people were all at least three star dozuns. Three of them had even reached the eighth star of the dozun level. They were a little weaker than Xiao Yin. Dozens of figures stood in air on the back mountain of the star realm three days later. Wave after wave of a vast and mighty aura spread out and rippled around. This area seemed to tremble because of the frightening pressure that was concentrated here. Everyone, I think that all of you are aware of the aim of this trip. Once we arrive at the northwestern region of the continent, I hope that everyone will listen to my commands. Xiao Yin stood in front of the many figures and spoke with a faint smile. Junior Pavilion Chief, please rest assured. A mere faction from a barbaric place is nothing. The twenty invited experts smiled and nodded when faced with Xiao Yan's words. Although Xiao Yin was younger than them, his powerful aura made them aware that this young man was stronger than all of them. Hence, they did not resist being ordered by him. Moreover, all of them were clearly aware of the identity of this young man. Junior Pavilion Chief need not worry. We have been invited by Pavilion Chief Yao. Naturally, we will not change our minds midway through. After all, we have only obtained half of our reward. A red-faced elder leading the group laughed with great strength. In that case, I will trouble old Mr. Hu. Xiao Yin cupped his hands to the red-faced elder. This person was the strongest among the twenty people that had been invited this time around. His strength had reached that of an eight-star dozone. Moreover, it was worth mentioning that he and the other two experts who had reached the eighth star were triplets. The three of them had begun training when they were born. None of them had married and had a child even now. The three of them were just like Siamese babies that never betrayed each other. Hence, the cooperation between the three was extremely great. If they were to join hands, they would be able to fight even a nine-star elite dozone. Xiaoyan's eyes slide to Yao Lao after he spoke. He declared, We will set off now. I, these fellows have only come after being invited. There is no need to trust them. On the other hand, you can trust these ten guest elders. They are much more aware of the news in the northwestern continent than you. Yao Lao nodded. He pointed at the ten elders and falling star pavilion robes around him as he softly spoke. Xiaoyan quietly sighed in his heart when he saw these ten guest elders. Yao Lao was allowing him to bring half of the falling star pavilion strength with him. However, everything should be fine since Yao Lao, who had reached the Banshin class, was personally standing guard. In addition to these falling star pavilion's guest elders, Xiaoyan's side would have over 30 people on this journey. Moreover, they were all elite dozuns. Xiaoyan felt a little unusual when he thought of this. Such a lineup was quite a powerful existence even in the Central Plains. It would likely not be difficult to even eliminate a large Central Plains faction like the Ice River Valley. In the face of such a lineup, it was likely that the Profound Lion sect would have difficulty obtaining the upper hand even with the support of the Hall of Souls. This time around, Xiaoyan's group had really forked out a bunch of capital. Yao Lao grinned after seeing that everyone was prepared. He slowly stepped forward and gently waved his sleeve. The wormhole on the top of the mountain suddenly began to fluctuate after Yao Lao waved his sleeve. A wild and violent spatial fluctuation spread from it as a thunder-like sound was emitted from the wormhole. This sound continuously reverberated over the surrounding sky. When the spatial ripple was emitted, the wormhole began to slowly rotate. Wave after wave of faint suction forces spread out of it. Xiao Yin, this is the wormhole scroll. It is yet to be fixed on the other side. After you arrive, all you need to do is find a safe place and open it. After which, it will be possible to form a tunnel that will remain at that spot forever. Yao Lao flicked his finger. A black scroll flew toward Xiao Yin. It was covered in a frightening spatial strength. Xiao Yin carefully received the scroll and placed it in his storage ring. After which, he turned to the wormhole and inhaled a deep breath of air before suddenly waving his hand. Let's go. Xiao Yin was the first to move after his voice sounded. He turned into a black figure that flew into the dark black wormhole. Jiama Empire, Big Brother, Second Brother, Kai Lin. I have returned. Xiao Yin curled his hand when his body entered the wormhole before slowly tightening it. 